Hey everybody, Palm Springs Cindy. I have some uh, makeup that I'm getting rid of, so I'm going to be tossing those out. And I also purchased some new makeup that I want to share with you and talk you through why I bought it. But before we begin that, I just want to say that today's Friday, so I have Saturday, Sunday, and then I go in for my surgery Monday at 7. So let's say two days, or three days before surgery. I am that Monday when I go in at 7 o'clock, I will be having surgery and then spending the night at the surgical center. So I don't think I, I will be able to video at the surgical center. Now, if I do, if I feel like it and I, and I can, I will because I really want you guys to be with me on this journey. I wanna say thank you to all of you who have written, who have emailed me, who have Instagrammed me, who, has, who have uh, messengered me, Facebooked me, to give me encouragement and your prayers. So I really, really wanna say thank you for that. And I receive that. I receive the prayers, I receive the encouragement, I receive the support. And as a result of that, I'm gonna share, for those of you who might be on the fence regarding getting something like this done, uh, you'll be able to travel my journey and be able to decide a little bit more informed maybe than you would have been. So, okay, I'm getting a little nervous. You know, I went out to dinner tonight with uh, Fran and Roberta and um, Alex. We went to this great restaurant. In fact, I'm gonna put the details of this restaurant below my video because the restaurant was an Italian restaurant. Everything, just about everything, 99.5% of everything is made there, handmade, fresh. It was unbelievably good. So our deal is that the first Friday of every month, now this Friday was the second Friday, but we had something that kind of blocked us last Friday. So we had to make it this Friday. The, so the first Friday of every month, we, we are going to try out something new or share a fantastic restaurant that each one of us might know about and the others don't. So tonight was this great uh, Italian restaurant. Oh my gosh, you guys, I could not believe how wonderful it was. So I wish I had taken pictures, but it, you know, it just wasn't really appropriate, but I will put the website for anyone who lives in the area, you are gonna wanna go. And when you do go, you're gonna be, you're gonna email me, you're gonna write a comment, and you're gonna say, thank you, Palm Spring Cindy. <laughs> because it's really, really special. Okay, I'm gonna go with the um, empties first. So first of all, um, you know, sometimes your makeup isn't exactly empty, but it's grungy and it's it's getting old and it's, it's really at the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> so with that, I'm gonna share this Bare Minerals now I do like Bare Minerals, but this is a very old Bare Minerals and it it's very clumpy. So normally Bare Minerals is very, very, it's, it's mined well, it's very thin, it's very um, powdery. This is so old that it's none of the above. It does not go on well because it's so old, so I need to get rid of it. All right, two things that I need to get rid of are two um, of these, uh, what are these called? Um, whoops, what are these called? Primers, face primers. I loved this because it was a matte. I could put this on my face um, just before I would apply my foundation and it made whatever foundation I happened to be using matte. And I like that matte versus an oily. Then the other one I want to get rid of is this Revlon Rose Glow. And this is also um, a primer. It smells tired. It smells old. It is not good. I need to get rid of this. 
but I need to get rid of this. And this is from Wet n Wild. I need to get rid of this. I have hit pan. Uh, the lid has broken off and it's just old and not good. <laughs> it's not good. And this is, um, let's see here. It says, uh, oh crumb, it's so old I can't even read it. Something, it's called Bronze Goddess. And I don't know the make of this, but it's bronze, it was bronze goddess. Ixnay to that. Now, another thing I'm getting rid of is this. It is old, it is dry, it still works, but you know what, it's, it's not good. So I'm getting rid of this, this is a concealer old time concealer. I'm getting rid of this. This is a eye pencil. It's from um, Tattoo Studio by Maybelline, but it is so uh, dry. It doesn't even go on. So that is going in the circular file. This is going in the circular file. This is a little sponge. And sponges are not good for the, I would think that would be a great little tight line. It's not. I'm getting rid of that. I'm getting rid of this um, NYX suede red lipstick because it's old and it's dry and I don't want it. And I recently purchased Beso by Stila so I don't need a red, an old dry red lipstick. I'm also getting rid of getting rid of this, and I had to do a double take. Like, do I really want to get rid of this? And I do. It's called Second Berry by Face. Anyway, here it is by Face. Because I was told, and I, and I agree with it, any lipstick that makes your lips look less color than you normally have naturally is not good. And this is a very neutral, it's, it's very brown, and it is not a good look on me. I thought it would be, but it's not. You know, you have to experiment. I can't tell you. Well, you guys know. You buy something thinking that yeah, that looks like a good color for me. That looks like a good consistency for my for my complexion. Then you get it home and it's not. But you wouldn't know that at the counter. I'm getting rid of this because this is just a crazy size. I use this and I use this. I do not use this and it has been sitting in my drawer for so many <laughs> for so long and I just skip over it because this is the ah, this is the one I use you know to put my makeup smooth my makeup on and this is size I use to blend my eyeshadow so if I'm keeping these and these are very washable I'm getting rid of that because I don't use it. Now, here are some things that I'm loving. I, I have discovered this. Remember, I got rid of this because I discovered NYX can't stop, won't stop. It's very creamy. It's an under eye concealer and I use it and I'm liking it. I also am continue to love this, and I bought a new one, Estee Lauder Eyeliner. The, the line, the wide line has the wide brush, and the thinner line has the thinner brush. These stay on. I'm not allergic to these, and they're very precise, so I like that. So I'm keeping that. 
I also, because of Rockstar Mom, so Rockstar Mom, you totally get the credit for this. And Elf, Elf Company, I want you to know, give Rockstar Mom the credit. This is an Elf product that I got. The reason I bought this was because of Rockstar Mom. I love this. This is an eyeliner. I actually have it on now. It is moist. It is a, um, you know, you twirl it, retractable. You don't have to sharpen it. And it goes on. It's nice and creamy. It goes on and it stays on. So thank you, Elf. Along with Elf, I might as well do my Elf now. I bought these online for my eyebrows. I started with a light eyebrow. These are little samplers from ELF. And then I, I also bought this one because I was not sure about the colors. So I bought a, a brunette and I bought a blonde. And I'm using a little from each one. I'm glad I bought both because um, I'm using a little bit, like a, I, I like to use this color or this color. And then on this, I still like to use this color and I'll use this color under my brows. So I, I'm using both colors, both palettes. I am also enjoying these two brushes. This brush, it's very condensed. And I like this because I can do, let me show you what I, oh, that's, actually, I'm getting rid of this because the colors that I use are diminished. As you can see, I use this color, this color, and this color. So what I would do is I would, you know, go here, let's say, and then I like this brush because I can do that. But it's actually crumbling. It's so old. So this is going away, but not this. And I also, speaking of e.l.f., this is my, also, another, um, tight line that I will use here. You can see I've used quite a bit of it because it's good. It's, it applies nicely and it stays on. My favorite, favorite, fav, favorite, favorite um, foundation, Wet n Wild. I pushed aside my YSL. I could not bring myself to throw it away because it was so expensive, but this is better. It's just so, it's so good. It's so easy to fall in love. It's so easy to fall in love. It's so easy, so easy. Yeah, yeah, it's so easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the last thing is my lipstick. This is from uh, Maybelline and it's Super Stay, Super Stay Matte. I like the matte lipsticks because they stay on longer. The mirror over here. So, so that is, um, that's what I have to share about uh, empties and about some new things I purchased that are mostly the e.l.f. brand. And then I did share a few things that, just stuff that I'm enjoying and I would highly recommend. The Wet n Wild Foundation, whoop, whoop, whoop. Estee Lauder Liquid Eyeliner, um, NYX. I like this much better than that Shape Tape. And I'm loving, of course, you know, I love this. It just smooths my foundation on really well. Tomorrow, I will have delivered my console table that's going over there, my pillows, my decor pillows for my couch. 
I've had a horrible time with my with Ethan Allen regarding my pillows for my couch. I ordered those pillows the same time my couch was delivered. I I have paid an arm and a leg for each one of them. I only got two. They're down filled. They are 22 square inch and there's they really will add a special dimension to this room. And I've been waiting probably a good two months, two and a half months. They were supposed to arrive last Friday and they didn't, they didn't. So then they were supposed to come this Friday and the guys came in and they had the delivery. And I said, they, and I said, oh, the rug and the pillows. And they said, oh, we have the rug, but we, we don't know about the pillows. I was furious. So I contacted my Ethan Allen rep and I was not very kind. I was at my wit's end. And so anyway, they're coming tomorrow by UPS. But you know what? I'm not going to stick around all day tomorrow. I, I had planned to stick around all day today, except for tonight when we went out to dinner. So, you know, whatever. After my pillows come and my console comes, and you, you guys are going to be so happy. I'm going to be so happy. I can have my facelift in peace. I can, you know, just enjoy the fact that there's not, well, I'm still, <laughs> still waiting for my coffee table. It's supposed to come on the 18th, Jan 18. So we'll see. But in the meantime, I have one here that I pulled out of my bedroom, but I like it in my bedroom, but it, it's fine. I, it, it will help me uh, be more patient and wait for the 18th which is not very far away. Okay, you guys, P.S. I love you. <laughs> Until our next conversation. Bye-bye.